medical rice scare, record inflation now taking aim at Halloween. Just ahead where you'll find deals on your family's costumes, decorations, and more right now. From NBC News, this is Today. With Halloween on the way, it's time to start shopping. Now? Yeah, yeah, it is. Carrie Sanders has all the tips and advice we need. Hey, Carrie. Hey guys, it's crazy to think that we're seven weeks away, Whoa. but if you don't have your costume yet, you might want to get one now because they could be gone by the time you get around to it. This morning, I am Scary Sanders, and we'll have that story coming up. We're back 740 today's Consumer Confidential, our series focused on the issues that impact mm -hmm. the bottom line. Yeah, this morning with Labor Day behind us now, it's apparently time to start preparing for the next big holiday. Yeah. <laughs> Which one? Halloween. Oh, here we go. Costumes, candy. We're ready. NBC senior national <laughs> correspondent Kerry Sanders. He's busy getting himself ready to help you avoid a fright when it comes to your celebrations. Hey, Carrie. Well, good morning, guys. Look, I know it's September 8th. Halloween is October 31st, but we are here at the House of Horror at Miami International Mall where things are already in full swing. And that's the case in many parts of this country because it appears that Halloween is going to be a bigger celebration than usual, in part because of coming out of uh, COVID restrictions. And Interestingly, yes, we are in inflationary times. Things are costing a little bit more, but retailers say that those higher prices do not appear to be scaring off customers. Ghosts and goblins of all ages have missed out on Halloween fun for the past few years, but this fall, not even inflation running at a 40-year high is enough to frighten off shoppers. Halloween has been my favorite holiday since forever. With Halloween still seven weeks away, retailers like Home Depot, Big Lots, and Target are stocking up on some very scary spending sprees. Home Depot says it has plenty of giant skeletons, witches, and werewolves, which flew off the store shelves this summer like a witch on a broom. Party City hiring 20,000 seasonal employees to meet the expected demand. We are on track this season to have one of our best Halloween seasons ever. I absolutely expect it to be record breaking for us this year. With plenty of trick or treating and adult parties canceled last year because of COVID, lots of people are ready to let loose and get dressed up for Fright Night. The costumes have been actually uh, in demand earlier than normal. In Nashville, Jennifer Corcoran shelling out more than $3,000 on her ghoulish Halloween display. Last year, she had 600 trick-or-treaters. I really hadn't planned to spend as much, but there's, I saw some new things I really like. There's a lot that gets spent on uh, candy and toys. It adds up pretty quickly sometimes. Candy will cost over 9% more than a year ago. Still, sales of the sweet treats are expected to jump 5%. At Crazy About Costumes in Fort Lauderdale, Karen Chiavarini has already rented 30 custom Halloween looks. And she says cost is not deterring her clients. Ginger Zuckerman and her husband are in it to win it at their upcoming Halloween party costume competition. Ginger won with this getup three years ago, which because of COVID was the last time they gathered for the haunted holiday. I am Batman. <laughs> uh, past winter, but now you're feeling the pressure. Yes. So what do you think of what you got here? I love it. Their costumes at $150 each are rented, which can be cheaper than buying. If you tell me you have $40 to spend, I'll work with you. I'll show you what I can do. It seems early, but no. Not for us. And for some, the magic of All Hallows' Eve is worth every penny. People want to have fun. They're, they're done with the COVID era. They want to have a good time. They want to party. They want to get dressed up. Yeah, we all do, Carrie. So here's the thing with inflation, still a major concern for, for most folks. What are some tips to save on those Halloween items? Well, you know, Halloween, you should always, I guess, applies to everything in life, but set a budget. And in this case, think about the number of people who are going to come by your house so you can buy the right amount of candy and not too much because you're just going to wind up eating it. Um, buy in <laughs> bulk, you know, buying in bulk always saves money. And finally, stop and think, you know, as we see the folks here getting painted, how you can get creative. What do you have around the house that you might be able to do yourself as opposed to going out and buying it? And then I know you guys are wondering, what am I going to be? So uh, yeah. 
as we get ready here and take uh -oh. a look at getting ready for Halloween, oh I'm going to show you how I think, I think you guys are used to this oh, anyway. Oh, of course. My favorite animal. The dolphin. Oh, Sound oh. effect, please. Sound effect, please. That's the dolphin. Oh, it's a dolphin. Yeah. Yes. Oh, we you Could have gone shark, shark though. Yeah. You know, it's either no. sharks or dolphins. Sometimes. You're adorable, Looking Carrie. Looking cute, Carrie. <laughs> Very cute. Thank you, Carrie. You wear it well. <laughs> Bill, have you got your costume picked out yet? I don't have mine, but my daughter already bought hers last weekend. Wow. We were like first one in the store. They're still putting the stuff on the shelves. It was, uh, yeah, wow. she's an early bird. Cute. Yeah.